Hello viewers, I welcome you to today's uh, tutorials on a uh, Plotagon story. In the first part, we we'll discuss on how to create your character. Now, in today's uh, tutorial, we will look at how to create uh, your plot and uh, make your animation. Okay, as you can see on the screen, um, that is um, the Plotagon app that is loading. As you can see, it's loading. Okay, that's finished loading. Now, you can see on the screen, you can see this is the plot, this is the characters. In the previous tutorial, we clicked on this and we created some characters. Okay today we'll look at plot so there are various plots which you can use but in this plot you can see create new plot so when you click on this uh, create new plot when you click on this create new plot it takes you to the next stage which is how to you know create a plot for your animation okay as you can see on the screen this is okay this is the this particular icon you see here is used okay for you know creating a scene the type of scene you want okay the kind of scene you want to be displayed so that is what this particular icon is all about so let's let's check it out so we're about to start okay it there's the scene we've clicked on it that is the scene okay when you click on that scene you see different scenes so it's not left for you to you know to make your choice on the type of a uh, scene that you want okay now you've created you see as you can see you see cafe without extra character so you you make your choice this cafe is it with extra or without extras okay what does it mean for you to have a, an extra and the one that doesn't have an extra so the meaning is that this particular cafe with extras implies that you want you know uh, certain features like uh, 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 people around okay to be involved in the in the scene uh, while if you click here without extras you also see that without extras then how do you want the the scene to look like is it attentive okay or whatever so all these options you can make use of them then you click on your character we select any of them it said you can make your selection okay now we've selected Chan and Otto okay what do you do what do you want them to do okay you choose what or, or, or the, this the, the the position you want them to stay after choosing the position you want them to stay Otto is at the door Chan is at the cash register you make your choice you select any of these options okay yeah you see it on the screen on the screen of the scene here you see them so after making such selection I want you to look at something I want you to look at something this icon here is for character okay when you click on that icon 
you use it for the character appears okay what do you want uh, wh what do you want your character to do okay you sh do you want them to be neutral or whatever and here this particular side this particular side you can type anything you want on it you can type anything you want on it for them to you know to say or you can click on this you can click on this this when you click on that you you discover that you have the ability to record the voice if you don't want to type it okay now I want you to uh, understand properly what I mean by this okay okay we've selected auto and um, we want to select should it be neutral okay should it be neutral okay you make your selection you choose anyone from this let's make a selection okay waving using uh, waving as i told you earlier if you click this it brings out this option is it that you record your voice or you type it here as i i told you earlier then you play you click on this play to hear what your your uh, what you've done so far you hear what you've done so far so that's how you continue to do So when you're done with the first character, which is uh, for auto, and um, you've chosen waving for him, and then you've typed what you want auto to say on this. Don't forget, I told you earlier that you can click on this for recorded voice what you wrote here you can click on it here you can click here and then uh, still say the same thing hey dear chan okay or you type it so when you're done with auto you still click again on this okay it gives you another uh, chance to create another character then you select chan when you select chan as you can see neutral you can still select whatever mood you want him to uh, um, to to put on whatever mood you want him to put on like that of auto auto is waving as you can see here he's waving okay so that is that here you see auto how are you you type it auto how are you that's how you continue to create different scene uh, different you know characters and um, what they are communicating on okay So don't forget that you play it to see how far your work is going okay there's something I want you to also understand this particular icon here this T for text here this particular icon here this t okay you when you click it 
when you click it 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 shows what you've written on this on this screen on the preview here as you are creating your animation kind of subtitle when you click it it shows the subtitle when you click it again it goes off so that's the function of uh, this particular you know uh, text icon so when you are done when you are done with with this aspect of um, okay inserting your character and what your character will say we move to the next okay we move to the next which is this okay this this icon here okay this particular icon here okay you select it so let me show you how it works when you select it so as you can see it is the this is it okay the icon I showed you of this is it the text okay is it do you want it to be centered do you want the voice to be you know this uh, the voice to be silent so anything you choose uh, uh, from this uh, drop down box okay takes effect okay so the next one is you this particular icon okay this particular icon here you also select it okay is for action it shows you the kind of action uh, you can select do you want auto if you choose auto you do you want auto to here you choose whatever you want auto to do do you want him to slap chan or you can choose chan here and you want chan to slap auto okay as you can see on the screen here this is the action okay this is a uh, auto slapping you know chan okay so So when you play it you see auto slapping chan okay then you can still choose anything you want is it handshake you can see choose handshake you can choose anything you want auto is it high five so as you are choosing it you play it you play it you see hug they are hugging themselves okay so whatever icon uh, whatever action you choose you you play it and for sound this is it you click on this bell icon okay when you click on the bell icon it reflects here it reflects here okay you choose the kind of um, sound you want is it police siren as they are inside the you know the uh, cafe you'll be hearing a police siren any kind of sound you want you you choose you go to this next one this one which is for music 
so you select any kind of music or you can download you can get more when you're done with your animation then you click on this you click on this when you click on this this is a rendering so when you click on this so your animation and that goes rendering as you can see Thunder goes rendering so do you want to export with subtitles or without subtitles is left for you to make your choice okay so that is that on uh, today's uh, tutorials hope you understood um, what was taught today I want you to you know do some practice do some practice and um, if you have any question you can also reach out to me but before I go I want you to please subscribe on this YouTube channel like the videos and then um, share it share the link I remain Daniel Lobey. Thank you for watching. Bye.